Here is a tour of the lifts at Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge is one of those really touristy places, the sort of place I usually try and avoid. But today, I was with my traditional family and it seemed like I was on a traditional day out. Tower Bridge is a historic building, but they haven't kept their original lifts. They've replaced them with stupid generics. How historic is that? The lifts here are really busy as they're on part of the tour and there was no chance of me getting them to myself so my video is not all that good. And now to the first lift. Now we're going up to high level walkway. Yeah. Yeah. You exit through the door on my left. When you get outside, you'll be 42 meters above the tent, so 140 feet. It's two part tour. The first part is on the bridge, the second under the bridge, engine rooms. So you need your bike tickets again. Please follow numbers one to five through the exhibition. It's in five stages. Are there two walkways for you to visit two different views and two short videos about the history and construction of the bridge? Once you've seen everything, you exit from the other side. The way down for the engine. If you've got any questions, just ask the guys around me. Take the photos if you like. Enjoy your work. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> and now to the lift on the other side. <laughs> And now into the museum part of Tower Bridge, and one thing I noticed here was this old truck lift. This might be an old Lund Hydraulic Power Company lift because they had a connection with Tower Bridge. The Lund Hydraulic Power Company were a company that pumped high pressure water around London to power lifts. Click the link in the description to see a video of one of their pumping stations. I tried asking some of the staff about this lift but none of them knew anything about it because the staff here are only capable of answering the mundane questions of tourists. They don't know anything else. And now, unlike my other lift tours, this video is going to get rather random. Also on this day out were some other interesting things that I didn't think were interesting enough to make a video of their own right. Nearby was an old building. I went round the back of it to see if there's a lift, and there was, but it wasn't working. And near that building was another old building, and I went round the back into the service area and found an old lift. And this one was working, but the outside gate was chained shut, so I couldn't get in it. Ah! Oh. Also on this day out, we went to the market near Waterloo, where they sell overpriced junk to gullible tourists. One of the things I noticed here was a traffic light. That's a rather odd thing to be selling, but this wasn't the sort of traffic light I was interested in, and it costed over a hundred pounds. I got my traffic light for free by asking a worker if I could have one. Also on this day out, we went to the tunnels underneath London Bridge Station where Coldplay filmed their video for Fix You. In these tunnels I found an old Janie Hall air conditioning unit. And also on this day out, we went on the London Duck Tours, which is another touristy thing, but unlike most touristy things, this one's actually good. It's a bus which can also go on water. It was really good, but I didn't get that much video of it. Here's the video I managed to get. Here's the tote. And here comes the river. Embankment. The one on this side is called the Albert Embankment. 